Hello my friends, this is Rufus Deutschler. Yesterday I showed you how you can create that uh, really cool graphic simply by using a brush stroke and the appearance panel. Well, that movie generated a discussion on, on my Facebook page with Jean-Claude Tremblay from Canada. And he said that there was actually no use to go to the object menu and to actually expand the appearance of these, of these brush strokes. He said that it was simply necessary to actually select the initial brush stroke and group it together. Command G. As you can see now, in the appearance panel, I have a group with my brush strokes as the contents. What he said then is to select the group level and apply a fill, like a black fill, for example. And then I replied to him, this is not okay because when I do that, a fill actually gets applied to the original stroke, the original brush stroke. And we get these strange artifacts here. And I'm going to turn it on and off just so that you can see these artifacts coming. And this is simply due to the fact that this stroke is not straight and therefore the fill appears. So Jean-Claude said, oh, but that's not a problem because if I take the group level, and apply an effect to that group level again, an effect such as the Pathfinder divide effect, these artifacts actually go. They go away. Divide and boom, these artifacts are now gone away. And then I can go back into my, into my fill here and select the gradient that I had yesterday. And as you can see now, the gradient covers the whole shape. Wow, this is really, really cool, Jean-Claude. But <laughs> he said something even cooler. At the group level, I can now add a stroke to that uh, object. So let's do that. From within the appearance panel, I'm going to add a stroke, a black stroke. But now we have the problem that all of these strokes overlap each other and make the graphic very, very complicated. But again, if I go to my group, Clicking here on the group in the appearance panel, I can return to my effects, Pathfinder, and actually add those shapes together, exactly like I would do uh, with the normal Pathfinder. So let's add the shapes together, apply the new effect, and miraculously, we now have the, um, the outline only outside of the graphic. And this is now really, really becoming beautiful. Let's change the stroke, uh, the stroke width for a second. Let's make it a little bit finer. Okay, something like this. And as you can see, without even having to go to Object, Expand Appearance, I can apply a fill and a stroke to that newly created object. The benefit of this, of course, is that I can always go back to my contents. The content is the art brush that I've used initially, the first one, and of course I can return to my transformation effects and decide that maybe the horizontal scale should not be 88 but 95. So let's do this, turning on the preview of course, like so, and here we have the transformation. So we keep everything live without ever going to the expand appearance command because it is not necessary. And this allows us to have a continuous fill and a continuous stroke all over an object that was initially created by a single brush stroke. And all of that using the appearance panel in Adobe Illustrator. Well, Jean-Claude, thank you so much for this, uh, for this clarification. And I hope this explains it well.